So we're going to be talking about finding angles within figures. Okay, so unknown angles can be found using facts about supplementary, complementary, and vertical angles. Okay, it's also helpful to remember the interior angles of a triangle will add up to be 180 degrees. Okay, and the interior of the interior angles of a quadrilateral will add up to be um, 360 degrees. Okay, so using this picture that we have here, we're going to be able to find um, the measure of A, B, C, D, E, and F all within this figure. Okay, so our first step, um, we're going to remember that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay, so therefore, um, if we're trying to figure out what A is, okay, we know that 45 plus 94 plus A should all equal 180 degrees. Okay, and I'm working in this triangle right here. Okay, so 45 plus 94 plus A has to be 180 degrees. Okay, so first let's see 45 and 94 would be 139. Okay, then we can subtract that from 180 and figure out what A should be. So 180 minus 39 would be 41. Okay, so we know that A is 41. Now, let's go ahead and try to find B. Okay, vertical angles are equal in measure. So, if this side's 63, then the vertical angle, which is B, would also be 63 degrees. Okay, and I'm done with B. Okay, the next step, let's try to figure out what is C. Okay, so if I look at angle B, which I just saw for, and angle B is 63 degrees, angle C is supplementary to angle B, so we know from a previous section that angle Angle B and angle C should add up to be 180 degrees. Okay, so if B is 63 plus C, that has to be 180. Okay, so 180 minus 63 is going to give me 117. So now I know that C is equal to 117 degrees. Okay, now I'm going to move on and try to find D. Now, using the definition of vertical angles, I know that C plus D, wait, I'm sorry, I know that C is going to be equal to um, this whole um, vertical angle, okay, so that's going to be D plus the 45, okay, so let's, let's look at that again, so C, which I just found is 117, is going to be equal to the vertical angle across from it, and that includes D plus the 45 degrees, Okay, so 117 has to equal the measure of D plus 45 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 45 from both sides. And D equals 72.
Okay, now I can move on and find E, okay, which is right here. Now, um, using the definition of supplementary angles, I know that E plus 94 has to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so E plus 94 degrees has to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so subtract 94 from both sides. Okay, so E would equal 86 degrees. Okay, now our very last one, I'm going to have to find F. Okay, and the sum of interior angles in a triangle is 180. Okay, so I am now looking at this triangle right here. Okay, so that means... D plus F minus 15 plus E all have to be 180 degrees. Okay, well I know D is 72 and I know E is 86. Okay, so... Seventy two plus eighty six plus F minus fifteen. Okay, has to equal one hundred eighty degrees because that's the sum of um, interior angles in a triangle. Okay, so let's see seventy two and eighty six would be 158 okay plus F minus 15 which still equals 180 okay and then I know that 158 minus 15 will be 143. Okay, so 143 plus F will equal 180. And then all I have to do is subtract 143 from both sides. So I need to know what is 180 minus 143. Thirty-seven. So F equals 37 degrees. Okay, so using all of um, the facts about supplementary, complementary, and vertical angles, I can find the angles of a figure.